Okay, let's start then. Uh, you are in the session, move up the value chain and learn how we do it. Thanks for being here. Um, why we do this talk, uh, probably you know this guy, Jam. Uh, he actually hold a keynote at Drupal Camp London earlier this year. And he started a discussion around the question, how we make money as Drupal providers and also how we create value with Drupal as a technology. And he made a clear statement, uh, which is just building websites with Drupal is not enough anymore. And amongst other um, people he mentioned, me and my company NetNote as an example on how it's possible to move up the value chain as a Drupal shop. And this ins inspired me uh, to actually share some insights on how we do it and how we moved up the value chain as an agency. And I highly recommend to check the YouTube video. The talk is online. It's very inspiring. Uh, it's also inspiring um, on how you could prepare your mustache uh, for next time. Okay. So who are we? I'm Lucas. I'm the founder of NetNote, and this is Mich Michi, senior digital consultant, and we are a digital agency from Lucerne, Switzerland, and we are doing digital projects. We actually help organizations doing digital business, and we offer everything from consulting to the final product and also ongoing support. And of course, yes, we use Drupal a lot, we started to adopt Drupal since version five. So what I want to point, point out in this session are three points. The first point is the world became digital and everyone is confused. That's one point. Uh, second point is how we net now moved up the value chain and also how we actually do the digital projects today. Uh, but before we dig into the details, uh, I want to know a little bit more about you and who's in the audience. I have three questions. Um, so who of you is making money with delivering consulting, like digital consulting? Please raise your hands. Okay, a couple. And who's actually making money with delivering Drupal code? So obviously most of you. And the last one is hand, hands up. Who is happy with your like project, uh, with your current project delivery process? Like, who is happy with that? So, yeah, some of them. Better. Sorry, you could do it better. Okay, cool. <laughs> Somewhat happy, cool. So let's start. The world became digital, and everyone is confused. And in the next couple of slides, I'd like to point out what's happening in a broader sense, like in a, in a economy in the whole economy, and why we actually need to adapt and rethink our service model as Drupal shops. So on this slide, you see a timeline showing the history of the four industrial revolutions. Maybe you know that. The first one is the first industrial revolution was triggered by the invention of steam power. Second was uh, triggered by the invention of electricity. Uh, the third one was triggered by the invention of electronics. And now the fourth one where we are in is, uh, was triggered by the invention of information technology and of course the internet. I mean, this is common sense probably. What, what we forget is uh, what, what you see on the very right. So with every industrial revolution, the complexity grew. So every organization needed to adapt and update and find new ways to manage the existing complexity and also the new one. So I, give, I will give you two examples now that illustrates this. The first one, uh, in this picture you see a timeline between uh, 1990, let's say pre-internet, and 2013. And you see that within around 25 years, the channels or marketing channels actually exploded. So back in the 90s, um, the amount of channels was relatively clear, easy to use, whereas today we have to think about a lot of stuff like CMS technology, webinars, virtual reality, Google AdWords, and all that stuff. So, uh, and also we have to deal with higher user expectations. So the user wants 
fancy storytelling. They also want 24-7 access to in a customer portal, for example. And also they want same day delivery from an e-commerce store. So that's crazy complex today, right? So if you compare it to the 90s. Another interesting example are the infographics by um, Chief Martech. I'm not sure if you know that, but uh, Chief Martech uh, is releasing, it's a blog, they release every year a new edition of their marketing te technology landscape. It's like a poster and they list all the technology software uh, which is relevant out there. On, on the slide, and you see they started the first one in 2011, and they listed 150 tools. And today they list over 5,000 tools. So within a couple of years, the whole market exploded, and it came very, very complex today. And by the way, there is also Drupal on the map, just one little technology on it. So today's organizations not only need to update marketing and sales, they also need to transform every process within the organization. It includes supply chain management, HR, customer relation management, and also manufacturing. So in general, this update is called digital transformation, yes. And, but what we sometimes forget is that every small and medium-sized and enterprise company actually is actually challenged by this. And in Europe, these are 21 million companies that are actually in this process now. And from my experience, a lot of companies, organizations struggle to do that. So what, what are these 21 million companies do today? They are looking for help, for help. And my question is, who's going to help them? Who's actually the partner for digital transformation? And who's going to help them transform marketing and sales? Who's going to help them to transform customer experience, business process, etc.? And also, who's going to help them build a website? Right? Is it the branding agency or marketing agency, or is it the Drupal shop? Or is it maybe even Squarespace or Wix or Jimbo? Or is it Google, Facebook? I tell you who's going to help. It's the digital agency. I see a lot of potential, a lot of business opportunity for digital agencies who are able to serve three core services and includes design consulting, business consulting, and tech. And if you cover all of them, you can provide very holistic solutions and you can truly innovate. So this is the sweet spot in the center. And traditionally, Drupal development jobs are very strong in tech, uh, which I guess is not enough anymore. And this is exactly the shift when I say move up the value chain. And to make it very clear, you can deliver value as a technology provider. In this case, the value you provide is functional code. It's delivering code with Drupal. And we as Netno decided a couple of years ago that we slightly shift the way we approach customers. Today, we see us as a partner for digital transformation. In this case, the value we provide is solving uh, business problems. And yes, Drupal is still an important part of it. And I mean, you can ask yourself if you are delivering technology of, or if you are a partner for digital transformation. So that was my part for the moment. And now Michi will explain you how we actually do that. Thank you. Yeah, as you can see, our process exists on seven phases. In the first phase is discover. Here we ask a lot of questions. We ask our customer, what is your business goal? Or, what do you want, or why do you want a new website? Most of the time we get the answer, we need more traffic on the website, or the website should be responsive, or we need a more modern look, my favorite answer. But you know, these are not goals. 
In the discover phase, two fundamental questions must be answered. The first is, what is the business goal? And the second, what is the need and the pain of the end user? That's two fundamental questions. To find the answers, we do research and workshops with the customer. In the workshops, we combine design thinking methods and bring in our digital expertise. As the agency, we challenge our clients to rethink what is possible. We work with various tools and activities uh, in, in the discover phase. For example, we create personas, user interviews, risk analysis, stakeholder interviews, paper and pencil prototypes, as well as first technical architectures. All findings are stored in a wiki. We use here Confluence. And the most important thing is that you, the, the, all the stakeholders has access to, uh, to the wiki. The second step is called the define phase. In this, in this phase, all the technical requirements and functions are worked out. We create a sitemap, define content types, include all the fields of the content types, the URL concept, and of course, we create a first wireframe of the website. Very important. Usually, this is an iterative process, and we create multiple versions of all the, 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 the deliverables. Very important here is the presentation of the wireframes to the customer or to the stakeholders. During this phase, the two fundamental questions from the discover is always repeated. The customer must know the answer. As tools and activities in the define, we use sitemaps, wireframes, uh, featured list, user stories, and a brand styled guide. And of course, something more details. Also, all the findings are stored in a wiki, and also the, uh, the, the stakeholder has access to the wiki. It's very important. Uh, for, for the whole process. And then, very important, at the end of this process, we can create a detailed offer for the next steps. Because here we know all the functions and things we must work. Then the third phase is design. As a basis for the design, we use the wireframes we created in, uh, in the Define. Actually, not, nothing special, we just design. I think Morten is not, not in the room. <laughs> for the customer presentation, we use InVision. Mainly, the customer can see the design in a browser and not in a presentation tool like, like this or PowerPoint. Within InVision, we also build simple and clickable prototypes. And now the fourth phase, deliver. In deliver, we are finally going for the developers. After all the, uses, after all the user stories and tasks have been created, our sprints usually have a length of two or four weeks, mostly. Our main tools in the delivering phase are Jira and Confluence. Also here, the customer has access to all the tools. But here, be aware, the customer can also read your comments and notes in the tools. So write your opinion about the customer better on a, a, in a Slack channel or, or talk only about with your colleagues. Do not write. Of course, regular status meetings we have, it's called sure fix, take place with the, with the customer. At the end of the sprints, we plan the next, like other HR methods. Then finally, after long days of the developments, we stand before go live. This phase is called distribute. The new solution, the new project will put online, and here we work with some different checklists. Everything is checked again. We checked if all navigation points have been translated, 
the UR concept, the settings of the DNS, and much more. In the most cases, just before go live, end user training is also taking place, of course. In the distribute phase, we do a final or a last project meeting. We again take the two fundamental questions and answer and prove if the final product fulfills the business goal. I think also here it's very important. Finally, but not last, we are live and now the work starts, the maintain phase. Drupal core and module updates ever are released every Thursday. Yeah. We monitor all our projects and if necessary, we will update as soon as possible. Nothing special, of course, but a lot of work. And now in the last phase, measure and grow. The goal is to see that the set goals are achieved. This can be more, this can be more leads and sales, less supports, process improvements, etc. Our goal is, of course, to have a happy and satisfied customer over a long time. If the customer is happy, my boss, also, uh, my boss Lucas, is also happy. And as you know, with an existing user, you made easier profit than with a new user. Measure and grow is all about ongoing optimization. We believe the measure and grow is one of the most important phases at all because we can learn and improve in almost real time. This one decides whether the customer remains a customer for a long time or not. The tools at this stage are well known to all Google Analytics, Google Data Studio, MailChimp, Hotjar, HubSpot, or of course, Open Inbound. Open Inbound is a our self-made inbound marketing tool based on RuPaul. If you want more uh, to know about Open Inbound, visit openinbound.com. Yeah, we use these seven phases in all our projects and help to achieve a high level of customer integration, uh, of customer satisfaction. What we have noticed in all the years is that the customer wants to be guided. So please note, the customer is the king, but you are the boss, you know the right way, not the customer. So what are the key concepts of our, pro uh, of our project process? First, we have a focus for a holistic process around digital transformation. We don't build only web, we don't build only fancy website. Second point, we have a combination of design thinking, lean thinking, and agile methods. We don't use only Chrom. We take the best of all methods. Third, we always set the focus on the two fundamental questions. What is the business goal? And was it, what is the need and the pain of the end user? This means we are sol solving the business goals from the customer but we have also the focus on the end user. It's very important, the end user. So, yes. Okay, this is how, how we do it. And um, uh, yeah, so, but <laughs> the big question is as an agency, how, how do we sell that? I mean, how do we sell digital transformation? Uh, selling a website is probably easier than selling uh, digital transformation. And uh, I have a solution for that, and it's actually evaluating the client's digital maturity. And I, I really like this slide. Um, it shows five stages, the five stages of digital maturity. On the very left, you have the digital resistor, and on the right, on the very right, you have the digital disruptor. And every stage has certain requirements, and if you meet the requirements, your digital maturity is basically higher, right? Uh, for example, you could talk to your client and say, well, okay, you have a nice website, cool, but you're missing out this and this and this, so let's do a project to fix that, and then you are in a higher digital maturity. 
very simple concept. But this is very powerful because then you are talking on a strategic level and not on, on features or, or something. So as a, and also as a digital agency, you can show a clear path on uh, how you actually create value for them because it's a, a shift uh, to a higher um, maturity. Also, you can propose a set of activities, and uh, yeah, these activities are always related to digital maturity, as I said, and to a certain business, business goals, business goal. So to wrap up everything, um, four points. The world became digital and everyone, everybody, everyone is confused, and I guess the world will become even more complex and confusing. Um, as Drupal focused company, companies, we need a new mindset. Um, just delivering technology is not enough. We are partners for digital transformation. Um, number three, uh, rethink your project process. Um, we shared our approach, which is a combination of design thinking, lean and agile. And last, uh, number four, think about how you sell digital transformation, you can create value when you help your client to reach a higher digital, digital maturity. Yeah, that was our presentation. Thanks for listening. And I'm curious now, what do you think? So uh, on that note, one person is responsible for the maintenance, mm -hmm. and uh, we have like yearly contracts, um, and then we just do the updates. One, one per project is delivered. Yeah. It goes to another team. Yeah. To do the maintenance. Yeah. Okay. Very simple. Yeah, so there, yeah, so let me go back. This, this corporate face is, is the added value? So yeah, it's a proper, um, um, let's say, consulting and focusing on business value, that's one thing, and also the feedback going back, so like combining measure and grow and, and uh, like proper consulting, yeah. The feedback gets good with this project, because the design design delivery is pretty good. Yep. Yeah, so, I mean, as we try to point out, it's really about asking what, what's the real business goal behind and shifting, um, just talking about one website, one solution to, to actually have a broader view and what do we actually um, move if we create this solution, yeah. And it's interesting if you, I mean, I followed a lot of sessions here and usually we are very focused in the Drupal world. We are very focused on the technical part and um, yeah. So, so, so I have another question. How do you ap approach new clients? Because usually you, you have a, you, you make a request for a proposal uh, for a website. You don't have a request for this kind of process. So I have to try to, to do my thing the same thing. But we, so we, first I, I do a website for them. Yeah, um, I mean, um, a discover phase can be very short. We always do discover. Sometimes it's just a day. Sometimes it's 20 days. <coughs> and yeah, this is what we show to the client from the very beginning. And, but they didn't contact you because they say we need to do our uh, digital transformation and we need someone to help us with that. Or they contact you ah. so they need a website and you yeah. tell them, okay, but let's start with 
I see. Say again? Sell the discovery. Yeah, of course. I mean, people come to us because they probably want the Drupal site or they want like a newsletter integration for their solution or online marketing conception or whatever. It's very diverse. I mean, it's just like digital, anything digital. And so you tell them, okay, but let's begin by a discovery yeah. system. Right. So if it's really what you need. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so. I mean, it's also what I tried to point out with this. Yeah, it's also what's interesting. Lots of people come to us and they say, "Okay, we want something very cool in the digital disrupt disruptor uh, thing," and I say, "You are not ready for that. I mean, we can do that, but you will lose money, right? I mean, we could build a an expensive Drupal project. It, it's good for the agency or for us, but it doesn't do anything in the end." Yeah, digital maturity, you can look it up on Google. It's, it's known since years. And, but it's, I think, not very, uh, very common in, in, in the Drupal, like, let's say, ecosystem. But it, Yeah, so it's interesting. Uh, I don't know if it's it's uh, for you. Um, if a client approach you, actually, he doesn't care about the technology in the end. You could offer, actually, you could offer another tool. I mean, in the end, we know Drupal very well, and that's why we can also develop a uh, good solution and we can do it quickly. And of course, Drupal has uh, lots of advantages. Um, I mean. The main advantage is its flexibility, uh, flexibility, and also like um, innovation rate. I mean, you have a module for almost everything, or you have a framework where you can do proper web applications. And so we, yeah. And what was the second part of the question? Or Yeah. 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 It's it's actually true, and it's also part of this shift that we say Drupal is not the, is not the main differentiator for us. Of course, it has its use cases where it's uh, very powerful. Yeah. I mean, we also uh, suggest uh, Squarespace in certain cases. If you need a small website, use Squarespace. Drupal is the wrong tool. So you were talking about KPIs, and when do you def Yeah, um, yeah, that's very hard. I mean, it's also if you have a, so our, we actually differentiate our clients uh, into digital ready clients and digital beginners, right? And we have digital ready clients. We can talk about KPIs, and if we have be digital beginners, then we know already what we're gonna tell them later, but they they don't know. I mean, it's yeah. And there, yeah. So you, you, you have a set of things that you more or less can deliver to all your clients. So you're, not, you're not tailoring those things to that client or that agency that you're doing traffic for, or to the right or the sale rate. Or I mean, it's, it's, it really depends on the project. I mean, it could be conversion rate optimization, or it could be reduction of support requests, or whatever. But actually, the, the, I, I wrote a blog post about that. It's in German. I have a list of all the, sorry? Ah, okay. 
So yeah, I, I made a list about uh, 25 main um, optimization tactics, and um, yeah. So, any other question or comment? I mean, really cu curious what you think. Business goal we mentioned before. Yeah. Well, what's the business goal? Okay. So we are around here anyway. So if you want to chat, um, thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, thank you.